all Chicago people talk about, Harold's chicken. But it's trash. <laughs> I'm just saying, it's trash. God bless these 20 somethings. God bless them, God bless them, God bless them. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Sierra Michelle. And if you are a returning subscriber, welcome back to my channel. Today, I just want to give you guys some tips and tricks and just spill some tea on traveling alone. Recently this year, this past summer, I traveled to Chicago by myself for a weekend getaway just to relieve my stress and just to live in the moment since I don't believe I traveled anywhere this year. I just wanted to get out and go somewhere. So a thing to keep in mind would be that you're traveling alone, so you're going to be paying for everything by yourself. So don't be trying to go ham and spend a lot of money on hotels. I, I got the big wrecks. <laughs> Y'all, <Yo>, me. <laughs> I, I got I got the gigantic racks. I in, in the in it's all hundreds. Spend a lot of money on Ubers and on travel. Like that all adds up. In food, like it all adds up. If you were with, traveling with somebody, you guys would be splitting um, the hotel bill and splitting like Ubers and stuff like that. So I'm um, a normal person. I work a regular job. I don't have money to be blowing like that to that caliber so i just really wanted to travel affordable with traveling affordable i want to go first with how to get there i traveled using the train any joking i am fred because the train was like the cheapest route other than the bus and with the bus it's no guarantee that you're gonna get there the day that you would like to get there or the time that you would like to get there. While I was on the train, I just took a nap. Miss? Um, no, it's not me. Yes, it is you. Please go back to your seat. Yes, I'm with him. I'm, uh, I'm Mrs. Iglesias. Uh, Mrs. Iglesias? Uh, no, you're not. You were just out here and you put sunglasses on. Out. But I don't want to. Sir, she can have my seat, okay? Everyone should experience first class at least once in their lives, and Annie shouldn't miss out just because she can't afford it. No, ma'am, I'm afraid that's not allowed. Help me, I'm poor. And I just watched um, some TV shows and some YouTube shows that I needed to catch up on. My round trip ticket um, to Chicago, I believe, was 100 or uh, like less than $100 for round trip. I left on a maybe a Wednesday or a Thursday. I got back on a Monday. While I was in Chicago, I stayed with the Extended Stay Hotel. With staying with the Extended Stay Hotel, it's not the best hotel. It's not like a five-star hotel, but it does the trick. Like it's it's clean. It was it was clean. It was neat, and um, it just wasn't modern. It wasn't modern, and it wasn't like luxurious. But it was cheap. I think I stayed there for like $60 a night, if that. So it was really cheap. I got that at a discount for military. That is what saved a lot of coins when I um, picked the extended stay because a lot of the hotels downtown Chicago per night was like $200, $300. And I was like, okay, just do it, just live. But then I'm like, no, boo, because this is just one weekend. Like, you still got bills to pay. You still got, like, stuff that you want. So that was a no-go for me. So things to do when you travel, you can go sightseeing. It's free, like, to go look at monuments and, like, to look at the local attractions. I went downtown to, like, some parks. I went shopping downtown and... All of that was free. I'd never been to Chicago, so everything to me was like, wow. I was looking at the buildings and everything, and it really reminded me of kind of like New York. Never been to New York, but it kind of like put me in that mindset. It was like so busy with the hustle and bustle, and it low-key looked kind of old with the buses and stuff, but um, I loved it. I loved that trip. While I was down there, the only meal I ate out was lunch, just because... Breakfast is, in, breakfast is included in your hotel stay and I wasn't trying to be out late like dark. when it was dark I'm not trying to be outside like traveling when I don't know the area and two I'm traveling alone and three I heard it was like a lot of um crime 
So I just wanted to get home before it was dark and to like buy food to like keep at the hotel so I can eat for dinner. And my hotel had a refrigerator and everything in it if I needed to cook. So that was like very clutch. Another thing when I when I say the crime in Chicago, I actually didn't witness any like rude people, any crime or anything like that. So I think Chicago really does get a bad stigma. There's crime in every city, but I was like blown. I was mind blown by how nice people were and like I was just mind blown. It was nothing like I like what I envisioned it would be. And she's nothing like that. She's nothing of the sort. While I was there traveling back and forth from my hotel to like downtown and stuff, I used the public transportation, the, the public train. It didn't matter to me because I would just commute there. And once I got downtown, I traveled by foot everywhere I needed to go. But it was cool because I was sightseeing and I was just wandering around, finding different things to do. Like I told y'all, things to do while you're traveling would be sightseeing going shopping, going to eat somewhere you've never eaten before for lunch, and just treat yourself for lunch, okay, boo? Also, I um, I went to a festival that was free. I went to All Nations at Chicago. That is a mega church, it's a big church. Um, I like the service, it was nice. It was really random that I went there because I didn't even think to go there until like I was going through my YouTube and I was like, oh, they're in Chicago. Let me go there for Sunday. And after church, I end up going to Harold's Chicken, which is like um, an infamous or kind of like a famous chicken place to go to Chicago. All Chicago people talk about Harold's Chicken, but it's trash. <laughs> I'm just saying it's trash. Um, those are different things you can do though. If you're traveling by yourself, go to festivals, like Google what's going on, get on Instagram and look at the hashtags. Um, and hopefully you make some friends while you're down there or you have some friends. I'm in the military, so I got friends in almost every state. So I was able to actually stay with a friend for part of my trip as well. My mindset is when I'm traveling alone, I need to look like the other people. I need to kind of blend in. I don't need to look like I'm traveling and oh, let me pray on her because she's by herself and she has all this luggage. No, boo. Unless you already know the area and you've been there before. Me, I've never been there, so I had my guards up. So the next part of this video is actually just showing you guys what I actually packed and what I brought with me. So this is the bag. The tote bag I got from Just Fab. It has a zipper at the top of it to keep everything closed in. And I'm gonna show y'all everything that's in here. As you can see, it's a little heavy but it's not too heavy. I have my portable speaker in here just in case like when I'm at my hotel, chill out, relax, put on some music while I'm in the tub or whatever. I brought my iPad to play games on and because I have movies on there. Some shades. So when I go to sleep, it won't be too bright, okay? While I'm on the train. I brought one case of makeup just just your bare make like don't bring a lot of makeup don't clutter your bag down with makeup get the um must-haves your foundation your brushes and maybe an eyeliner or lip liner or something i don't know this is my hygiene bag um these little um bottles are like soap lotion oil different things like that they're travel size and they're just easy to store and i got my face scrub and i got like some feminine hygiene products then i have my um underarm under garments i have one outfit this dress another outfit would be um the pants and a shirt <laughs> then I just have a pair of shoes at the very bottom these shoes I'm gonna wear with both of these outfits the dress or the um, pants and the shirt so it's kind of like less is more you want to bring less but you want everything to kind of work with each other also um, I brought a face mask for when I um, 
just try to relax and just be to myself for a little while while I'm in my hotel. I made a mistake of using hotel soap on my face and my face broke out so bad. This is the bag. Um, it has this zipper. But as you can see, like look at my hand, it goes down pretty deep to my elbow. So this is a deep bag and it, it's great for storage and it's great for traveling. Thank you for watching this video. Hopefully you are inspired to travel alone. My tip would just be to kind of like blend in with your surroundings to not look like a traveler because you don't want to you don't want that attention you don't want somebody to rob you or to see you and prey on you definitely if you're a young woman like you don't want that i have a resting face so most of the time people don't mess with me the only people that try to talk to me are old black men I don't know. Sorry, but I can't anymore. Tell you get on my face, but I